My name is Dr. Aaron Gardner. I'm a pediatric intensivist at Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center. Today, I wanna to talk about how your family can better prepare for a disaster or emergency in our community. There are four key elements to a disaster plan for your family. The first one is build an emergency kit. The purpose of an emergency kit is to have the supplies that you will need if you need to leave your home for a few days. Contents of this kit should include important items like food, medications, diapers, bottles and formula, first aid supplies, and other important items that are important to your child. You can think about this as a diaper bag for your entire family in the case of an emergency. A smaller version of this kit and a blanket and perhaps some water could be kept in the car as well. Step number two to prepare your family for an emergency is to make a plan. In an emergency, it can be stressful and hard to make decisions. For this reason, it is important to have a plan ahead of time. Communication is an important part of the plan. Consider how you will stay in touch with your family if cell phones are not functioning or electricity is out. It's a good idea to keep a list of phone numbers for family contacts, your physician, and other important contacts and keep that list in your go bag and in your child's backpack. It's important that babysitters, daycare providers, and others who care for your child also are aware of this plan and have this information. Meeting locations are also an important part of the plan. Know where your family will meet or take shelter if necessary. Develop strategies that can help you and your family safely evacuate in the event of an emergency. This is especially important for young children or if you have a child with special health care needs. Disasters can be scary for anybody, especially children. It is important to include them in planning and preparing for a disaster. Practice with them what they'll do in the event of a fire. Practice what to do when the lights go out at home. Practice grabbing the go bags and preparing for an evacuation. Step number three to better prepare your family for a disaster or emergency is to be informed. Before a disaster strikes, it's important to know the threats that might affect our community. Here in Idaho Falls, these threats might include a wildfire, earthquakes, or extreme weather. Know your options for shelter. Where will you go if your family has to leave your home for a few days? Know who to call for help. This will include emergency numbers of fire and police, but will also include your personal network of family and friends. Know how you will get information during an emergency. This may be from cell phone, text alerts, sirens uh, in the community, or a battery operated radio. During a disaster, keep updated on conditions. Follow the instructions and directions as provided by emergency personnel and government officials. Step number four to better prepare your family for a disaster or emergency is to get involved. Think about how you can better help your community to be prepared for a disaster or an emergency. Talk with the people involved in your children's lives, their daycare providers, their doctor, their school officials understand what their plans would be in the event of a disaster or an emergency. Here's a list of resources to help you and your family better prepare for a disaster or an emergency.